I heard about this statistic that says uh, the country that has the most child birth per thousand, the percentage per, per thousand people, and Nigeria was the highest. We need to pray. Let's pray for Nigeria because that is ridiculous. Hi, hello, welcome back to my channel. It's me again, Mutiyat. If you're new, like I always say, please don't be a stranger. Don't make this your last subscribe to my channel. Click the notification bell down there because that's going to help you out with it and suggest my video. So with that, let's dive into the video of statistics. <laughs> yeah, welcome to my talk today anyways. <laughs> Welcome back to my talk Tuesday. I know it's been a while and I am not gonna lie, it's been a rough week, a hectic week and a whole lot of things coming up. So I didn't post last week and I'm sorry for that. Yeah, and that's it. But it's called life. It's called mom's duty. But you know, let me know in the comments if your country has more than Nigeria, as child, like uh, the percentage, the 34% rate of 1,000 people in, your country because yeah that's where we are at so yeah comment below let me know your thoughts on that and also comment below if you think um having and more than four child i mean two to four child what range what number are you considering before you start having them or when you start having them it doesn't matter when comment below let me know your thoughts do you think the recession or the inflation will make some people considered in the long term that having lot of kids is <laughs> it's not advisable i mean i am not advising anybody but just me it is not advisable why am i saying this i'm saying this because i over the week even though i didn't post i watched videos two videos like you know some educational and informative video that talks about uh current affairs and then it's pretty fascinating that two of it talks about nigeria like pertaining to inflation and one talks about the child birth rate which i'm going to get into all of that so today i'm talking about why inflation and recession is also contributing to child birth so i'm talking about that because you know it has to do with me it has to do with i mean you know i am somebody who is in this country and then you know trying to juggle motherhood and career you know it's tough it's tough it's not only tough for me it's tough for every mom i mean last week few moms cannot make it to their child's picnic because they were working you know not every mom can compromise you know because they have to pay their bills compromising and bills don't work so let's be realistic if i was to think of back in the days when i was thinking of when i want to start having kids how many kids do i want to have I always want to say, oh, four kids, you know, which is normal, by the way, as an average. But consider the fact that I sliced that into two, I divided it by two, and I'm having, I had just two. That's impressive because I was talking to my sister. This is a true story. I was talking to my sister a few days ago, and I said, oh, we're talking about how challenging it is for us raising kids nowadays. Because for my mom, who oh, actually had five, it, was, it wasn't it was easy for her too, though, but it was much easier because she has relative who lived with her, and it's affordable. You know, life is not tough back then. But for us now, things is getting harder and harder. So back to my conversation with my sister. So she said, oh... I thought I wanted to have four, but now divided by two, I have two, and God knows if I'm going to have more, but she said she wanted to have six. I didn't believe she said that. Like, I didn't believe she even wanted to have six, and that's my twin sister, by the way. So, she said six. I was like, what were you thinking? You said, yeah, she that six kids, and now I said, you divided it by three, because now you, you just have two. We both have boys, you know? She had two boys, I have two boys. So, and... You know, that kind of funny in the sense that I heard about this statistic that says uh, the country that has the most child birth per thousand, the percentage per, per thousand people, and Nigeria was the highest. You know, how come? Where did, how did you get here? Because I remember back in the days, they used to say um, family planning, family planning, four kids, you know, and everybody was really into that. But I don't know how come we are having... Okay, now I know. A lot of polygamous have. So, yeah, and that happens. A man with many wives or a man with extra 
extra extra concubine outside having kids you know a lot of baby mamas that is possible for us to be number one one other funny thing is not funny but sudden is that how can a man wanted to use a child for ritual and i'm gonna get into that because this is top to it it's crazy i am saying two kids it's much of a job now 12 kids and he wanted to use one of them for ritual i will put a link of the video that i watched that talks about it in the description so yeah so that is pathetic and sad because and he he has i don't know how he's brainwashed because nobody should tell me it's Hollywood movie that uh I say no so Nollywood movies that contributed to him thinking like that. He lives abroad, he lives in the United States according to the story. He lives in the United States, he has eleven kids back home. I don't even know where those kids are, but eleven kids, how many moms? How many baby mamas? How many moms? Well, that's not my business. But my point is that he is an African man, a Ghanaian to be precise, and then he's I always think it's most rampant in Nigeria, but now I know it's everywhere in Africa with our gullible and then backwardness. So yeah, how is it possible to have 12 kids? And now you're struggling to take care of them. There's so much story out there about people using their kids. So it's, it's sudden and it's also alarming and awakening that, you know, you child birth is a blessing, but you have to plan for them. For their wealth for their well-being for their future for a whole lot of things and also for you to build wealth generational wealth for them that i always think and i always talked about on my channel too so yeah um that is it for today's video if you enjoy this kind of content please subscribe to my channel and click the notification and give this video a like because that's going to help the algorithm and suggest my video so with that i will see you on my next topic thanks for watching Bye bye